Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited about this Quick Tips video um, because we're going through my favorite tool. Now, that's the Artist Pad over here, and this is one that uh, Takashi and I have personally developed in order to make this work better for OneNote and for artists. So if you haven't used this yet, uh, you're in a great place. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, use this URL that I have in the description. Copy this into your browser. Uh, when you do, that's going to prompt you to open OneNote. Do that. That's what you need to do. It's going to open this exact page, the one I'm um, looking at right here. So you'll have access to this. You'll be able to see what all the buttons do. And then you have the install files directly inside of OneNote, which is really cool. So you're just going to tap with your finger and choose Save As save as, save it to your desktop, and then you're going to double click and install those. Um, this one you don't double click, this one we're going to load. Okay, so once that's installed, you can see right over here, uh, this is going to be actually down here uh, on your taskbar, uh, but you're going to hold or right click right here, and that's going to bring up this menu. Uh, you're going to choose Layout, Load Preset, and that's going to uh, bring you here. You can choose desktop. And let's click on that OneNote preset that we did. We're going to click open, apply, OK. And you should have um, either this up right here or almost up. Um, you're going to right click again right here on this mouse icon, right click, and choose artist pad. Now you should be set. Super easy. Um, Theoretically, this should work. Uh, if for some reason this is not working, um, you can try the zip file um, or you can put a comment below so I can very quickly make adjustments to get this working for you guys. Okay, so we've got this going and uh, you have the artist pad loaded up. We're almost done. Uh, you're going to want to uh, go to layout, edit layout, and this will prompt you to install the store app, which is where you edit the layout and also where you purchase. So we're going to go up here to the top left to this little icon, the back arrow, choose purchase, and you can choose whichever one you want. Artist pad is the one we're using here and full package is the one I recommend. Okay, one says purchased, you can use that right click menu again and this about button uh, will say activate, click there, and that will give you an option of activate by store app and uh, follow the prompts, close the windows if they get stuck, and you should be set. Everything is good and golden. All right, so the next thing to point out, um, this is made specifically for a Surface Pro. So Surface Pro has this resolution, and these buttons over here are clicking on a location, which means they're not clicking a keyboard shortcut. So that means that one of the buttons will click here and here and here on a different resolution screen that might actually be here and here and here. So it's going to cause problems if you don't know what's going on. Um, in another video, I'll talk about how to change that and adjust that. It's not too hard. Um, but then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your top bar look like my top bar right here. And you just do that, uh, you do that by using this add pencil. You're just gonna add pencils and then use your finger to hold and drag those into the same order that I have. All right, let's delete that. All right, last thing to note is uh, that I use a very specific pen. Uh, I like this one. I did a test on about nine different pens and uh, this is the only one that has tilt and is magnetic and has an eraser button and has an eraser button on it so that you can write and erase um, really, really quickly. For me, that's a huge deal. All right, so I have a link to purchase this. Um, I bought about 200 of these to sell from my store because I really like them, and uh, they weren't being shipped international by anybody else. If you guys have questions, please put them in the comment section. Uh, I'm happy to answer those. I'm sure that there will be questions. If you like this video and found it useful or informative, please subscribe. And until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.